Right now, the final season of Game of Thrones is happening. We're finally gonna find out who is the winner of the Game of Thrones. In honor of that, today we are having a very unique bottle. This is the Lagavulin Single Malt Islay Scotch Whiskey, aged nine years. This is for House Lannister. A uh, bunch of distilleries got together, they each picked a house, they made their bottle. This is the one for the Lannisters. And I gotta say, a nine year vlog of one is very unique. Let's dive in. That's not that right. <laughs> of the full set, uh, the House Lannister one was the most expensive. <laughs> oh, that has a nice smell. Yeah, it does. I'm excited about it's this. It's a nice smelling whiskey. And it's a really nice smelling whiskey. It's not as peaty as an older Lagavulin. Though. No. If I did that to a Lagavulin, it would hurt. And this. That Lagavulin gold, like 16 years, like burned peat. It's like a. <coughs> oh, it's sweeter than a regular Lagavulin. That it is. Oh, that's high. Staying with me right here. The heat. I like this a lot. It's got kind of like a sea salty, briny, yeah. a light, very it's light. It's definitely got a, like a sea salt thing. It's not as heavily peaty as like a drink. No, I, I'm getting or... sweeter notes from it. I don't know, sorry, I'm yelling because I'm excited. I'm getting sweeter notes than I would expect from a long bowl, which is overly peaty. I would agree. I get honey. I get honey almost immediately. It's got a little subtle honey flavor too. It's just a real nice whiskey. And it's lighter than you would think, considering it's it's 40, what, 46%? 46%. This is our first tasting where we've done scotch from Scotland. Because we've is always it? ever done Japanese stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. Holyoke and I like Japanese whiskey. Our love of Japanese whiskey emerged from, from having liking scotch, but we couldn't afford it, remember? Well, so we buy the Japanese stuff. It's true. There was a time when it was... But now, it's now the other Japanese stuff. <laughs> As of right now, this is the only scotch in the collection. Only scotch in the house. Oh, wow. I like this a lot. <laughs> I, the nine year is so unique. It gives me all the fun of a Lagavulin, but it doesn't give me the overly not smokiness. As not as peaty, not as smoky. Limited edition, so when they stop making it, it's absolutely they're not going to have it. I really don't think there is a nine year old. I think I've seen eight year. I've seen eight year and I twelve think I've year. Seen eight, yeah. And then there's older than sixteen. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever seen a nine. It's a very solid whiskey, Sean. Ah, damn, it's really good, man. We may need to go buy another bottle right now. <laughs> I mean, dude, this is not a, actually a gimmicky whiskey. It's yeah. Actually, it looks like it might be gimmicky because of the because of the Game of Thrones, but it's not. And it's quite good. For the price, right now being less than the 16 year old, I this prefer is, this. This is a buy over the 16. Unless you really want that strong, yeah. bulky, that smoky flavor. Which we don't want anymore. Which is why we don't have any scotch in the collection, which is why we like Japanese. Yep. It's very good. I've never done a review where I immediately was like, we need to go get another bottle. It's a now, nice bottle. I don't know if that's because I'm nervous because it's a collectible and it won't exist anymore, or if it's just that good. I've just never tasted a Lagavulin with this flavor. I think, it, I think it's unique enough, it deserves me going and getting a second bottle right now. You do. Well, if you take a short walk with me to get another bottle. Absolutely. I think we're gonna get another bottle. Let's do it. Bum, bum, <laughs> ba -da -da, da -da -da -da. Going on a walk in the neighborhood to go get the second bottle of the Lagavulin 9 year we're all excited about. But look at this house. Look at this house with these redwoods. Holy oak, how old are these redwoods? I don't know, man, but they're beautiful, dude. Just have one house that has all these redwoods that are from a bygone era. It's very cool. All right, we're getting more bottles. Holy oak, you getting a bottle? Nice. We, just, we had to get more. The locals are getting upset because we got the last two bottles. I'm mad because he got it. House they, of Lannister, I love it. So we're here at my local spot, Golden Rule Liquor, because they get the cool stuff. And we got the last two. <laughs> we got the last two they have, and they were upset about it. Last two, yeah. Bevmo did not have this. I originally found it this morning through Saucy, and I paid like a six, ten dollar premium just to have it brought to me. So I would take a look on Saucy to see if they have it. I'll give you a code so you can have $10 off. Uh, but then your local spots, go explore your local spots. But BevMo did not have this when we called. Very good stuff. I really liked it, which is why I bought a second bottle.